Hey guys and welcome to another edition of Wise Words with Dan. It's good to be back and speaking to you guys today. I'm just doing this podcast solo this week as I'm not with Renee, but me and Renee will be doing a podcast together next week. As I've told you guys, she is my permanent co-host, so I'm glad to have her on. I'm glad to have her as a part of my show because, you know, she carries a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Um, and I, I think like me and her, you know, would do great, would do great things together this year. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing more episodes with her. Um, yeah, um, later on down the track, but she'll be back on my podcast next week. Um, the reason I'm doing this podcast solo today, because earlier this week on my Instagram, I sent you guys, um, um, a questionnaire which you guys can ask me anything you want and I can answer it here on the podcast. So today's post podcast is just q and A. I want to answer some questions from you guys. But yeah, before I get to all that stuff, guys, um, thank you because I actually got a lot of great feedback from you guys um, from my last episode and even the episode when I had Coach Ali on um and you guys have said nothing but positive things. So thank you so much for like all your, you know, all your positivity, all your love. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, I really want to get my podcast to grow bigger and bigger. I want to, myself and Renee and myself, our goal this year is to bring on as many guest speakers as we can. So that way they can share what they know, share their life story. Um, so... Yeah, we want to kind of get those professionals like we spoke about on our last podcast on our show. Um, but yeah, we're in the process of doing it. Um, and yes, yeah, so guys, how's my week been? My week's been good. I've been feeling good. I lost an extra two kilos, which I'm very proud about. Um, so yeah, I felt like a, this week's been short. It's, it felt like it's gone very super quick for me. Um, things at work have been good as well, you know, I've, um, so yeah, life's been good, life's been good, I cannot complain, guys, it's just a shame what we've seen in terms of n news with Turkey and what's going on over there, that earthquake uh, affected um, Turkey and Syria, horrible, horrible, over 10,000 people have died. Um, guys, it's, yeah, it made me think about life and it made me think, you know, how short life can be and, you know, before you know it, you know, the, your loved ones, it, it, life can go just like that, but even loved ones around you, you could, they won't be, they could not be here, ah, I'm mixing up my words, so they might not be here tomorrow, so I think it's important we can cherish, we cherish every moment of life, we enjoy life. We cherish each moment. We enjoy our time with our friends and family because honestly, like you just don't know how long you've got. You don't know how long they've got. And yeah, just embrace life. Enjoy it. You know, make the most um, with your fam. Make the most time with your family and your friends. You know, life's too short, and one day it can go just like that, and you think. You know, I should have I should have taken more time to spend with those people I love. So, yeah, just a little bit of wisdom I wanted to share on wise words of death. <laughs> wisdom on wise words. Sorry, I've got a bad sense of humor. But anyway, on to the Q and A, guys. I am. You guys have have sent some inter interesting questions this week. Um, some I didn't expect. Some I sort of expected, but you guys had some. <laughs> Interesting questions, I would say that. Um, so I will read out some questions on my pod. Um, I've even brought my notes here to actually read it out. <laughs> um, yeah, so the first question. Uh, by the way, these questions are all anonymous, um, if I'm saying that right. So I don't know what these questions are going to say whatsoever <laughs> but here we go do first question do do you do you actually hate anyone 
Um, do I hate anyone? No. I feel like hate is a very strong word. I do not hate everyone. Um, I, I, sorry, I do not hate anyone, I should say. Um, I dislike people, yes, but I don't hate anyone. Because I feel like, as I said, hate can be a very strong word. And when you hate someone, you hold that grudge. And, you, and then every time you see that person, whether, whether it be on social media or in person or someone speaks about that person that you hate, you have that instant anger, that instant um, frustration. So you don't want to hold on to hate, guys, because hate is toxic energy. I don't want to carry around toxic energy, so I learn not to hate anyone. Respect, I respect people, there's people I do dislike. But I would never hate a human being, no, because live and let live, you know, just why hold on to hate? It's just, hate, as I said, it's a powerful word, it's a very negative word, um, and to have hate inside you for someone else, it's just, it's not good for your body, it's not good for your soul, it's not good for your energy, so I don't believe in hate. So that's my answer to that. Um, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Thank you for asking, whoever that was. Feeling good. As I said, I've had a good week. Feeling alive, feeling happy, feeling blessed. Um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to the... Actually, I'm excited because it's Saturday. I'm looking forward to the UFC tomorrow with Volkanovski versus Islam. Um... I wish could, it's, it's over in Perth. I really actually wanted to go to this UFC event, uh, but bloody traveling by plane three hours all the way to Perth, like, I couldn't be stuffed for that. So if it was in Sydney or Melbourne, then yeah, fair enough. But but that, but other than that, guys, I'm so excited. I'm, you know, I'm excited for this fight. I know it's going to be such a great fight. Um, who do I think will win? I believe, uh, look, I want... My heart tells me Volkanovski. I really want Volkanovski to win. Like, imagine Volkanovski winning the lightweight championship and holding two belts. That would be fucking epic, guys. So, I would... And and, and since and since he's Aussie as well, it would be even better. Imagine an Aussie UFC fighter holding two belts. It would be fantastic. Uh, but anything could happen, guys. I just feel like Islam... Of seeing his last fights, he's just proven to be just so good. Like, his brother Khabib is coaching him. Khabib's one of the best UFC fighters of all time. I've seen Khabib's fights. He taps out opponents early on. Um, so this guy, he's got a pretty good record. And um, yeah, so I, I just feel like, I feel like it can go the distance, but I feel like at the same time, Islam could also put Volkanovski away early. So if it goes a distance, potentially, um, if it goes to, if it goes a distance, potentially Volkanovski could win. Um, but if it, but if it's a sh short matchup, it favors Islam. Um, so I feel like Islam to win by submission. Um, yeah, that's just my pick. Uh, but I hope I'm proven wrong. I hope Volkanovski can win. But let's just have to see. <laughs> We've got to see what happens. Um, but yeah, all right. So next question from myself. Tigers suck. Wooden Spoon 2023. Well, look, I can't disagree. <laughs> I can't disagree with that. Tigers do suck. They're not, they haven't been great these past few seasons. Um, it's been 10 years since we've made the top eight, since we've made the finals. Even more than 10 years now, so... I feel like this year we really have to make the final series. I feel like more than ever, the pressure is on us this year. New coach in Tim Sheens, assistant coach with Benji Marshall and Robbie Fowler. Um, and we've, and we've, rec we've recruited pretty well. Um, so there's no reason why we shouldn't do well this year. There's no reason why we shouldn't, you know, be up in the top eight. But, you know, as I said, Tigers have been on one of the longest um, finals droughts ever, ever. So, 
it's make or break for them this season. I just really hope they at least make the finals. That's all I want. But who knows, time will tell. It d didn't look good <laughs> the, a few days ago when we played New Zealand Warriors in the trial match. We got absolutely hammered. But I don't look into the trial games because, you know, it doesn't tell you anything. You know, Tigers rested their players. So I don't look too much into trials. It's when the season starts is what counts. Um, but yeah, so just have to be, I just got to, as a Tigers fan, all you have to hold on to is hope. Because if you don't, if you don't have hope, you've got nothing, you know. So fuck. Here's, fingers crossed we have a better season. <laughs> Okay, next question. I saw I saw Renee on a Jetstar flight. Is she a flight attendant? No, Renee's not a flight attendant, but she does work at Jetstar and she works um in the front desk. So she's doing checking. She's not doing um she's not a flight attendant, she's just doing checking. Um so she um yeah, yeah, so that's her job title. But yeah, you might have still seen her, but She's definitely not a flight attendant. Um, okay, next question. Oh my god. I don't know who wrote this question, but fucking hell. Ah, fuck. I said I was going to answer every question, so here goes. <laughs> Have you seen Renee nude? Um, surprisingly, yes, I have. We went to a nudist beach together a few years ago. Not... <laughs> Um, this was way a while ago now, a few years back. Yes, we've seen each other nude. Um, yep, nothing happened. We're best friends, just to put it out there. Nothing happened. We're best friends, but we did go to a nudist beach together. Um, and yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much that's all I'll say on that. <laughs> you guys are probably thinking, why did you guys go to a nudist beach? Well, I don't know. We just decided to try something new, I guess. I can't believe I actually answered that. Fuck, man. All right, anyways. Next question. Um, this show should be called Wise Words with Renee. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking that. I'll take that on board. Well, look, Renee's my permanent co-host now, so the t t title should probably be w Wise Words with Dan and Renee, um, actually. So... <laughs> Uh, I guess the, whoever asked this question wants her name to take over the show completely. I mean, she'll do a good job. She will do a good job. I'm not going to say she will do a bad job. She's she's pretty. She's a pretty good co-host. So, but yeah, me and her click well together, and you know, she's added a lot of value to this podcast. So Renee's definitely a very important part to this. A very important per person to this podcast because she. Yeah, she shares a lot of wisdom, adds a lot of value, value, and now being my now that she's going to be my permanent co-host, we've got nothing but fantastic things coming up for this year. So, yeah, watch out, guys! It's a big year, as I said. Um, all right, next question: How many stuffed animals do you own? How many stuffed animals do I own? That's actually a very great question. <laughs> How many stuff? I own, actually, I own quite a lot of stuffed animals, actually. Um, going back to my childhood, every stuffed animal that I bought, I've actually kept. So, I've got, uh, I'll show you guys this. So I've got this Garfield toy that I've had. Oh, it's not a, so much Garfield. It's like a tiger toy that I bought at the Easter show, like, eight years ago or something like that. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I've had this one for quite a bit. It's just sitting on my shelf. Um, I've got another one, which I'll show you this. Um, so I've got this bear. It's a superhero bear. It's actually from, um, I got it from my work. I've had this bear for a year now. Um, it's actually, I actually got it as a gift from the Kids Cancer Project. Um, because I was calling their charity and because I've done such a good job on the Kids Cancer Project, I was actually re rewarded with this bear because I helped the charity raise a lot of money. So, yeah, it's quite cute. I love it. I love it. So, 
yeah, that's what a, that's the bear that I have. Um, um, but yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I've got a I've got many other stuffed animals as well. Um, I've, I've I've even got like Looney Tunes characters back from when, when I was younger. Um, I was a big fan of Looney Tunes, the cartoon show. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah, so I've got heaps and heaps of stuffed animals. Um, I c can't even count. You know, if I were to actually guess how many stuffed animals I I do have, probably over twenty. <laughs> but yeah, probably needed time to get rid of some actually. <laughs> but it's good. It's good. It just reminds me of my childhood and all that stuff. But yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So next question: biggest red flag for a girl. I don't know. I need to, I need to try and think about this one. What's the biggest red flag for a woman? If I were to go on a date, I think the biggest red flag is if I'm on a date and I'm sitting down talking to this girl, and she's constantly on her phone, looking at her phone and not interacting with me face to face, that's a big red flag for me because uh, it tells me that they lack interest, that they don't really care and that they would rather look at their phone than, you know, have a genuine conversation with myself. And so I think a chick being on her phone um, whilst on a date is the biggest red flag. I'm sure many of you could probably agree with that as well. Um, Celebrity crush. My celebrity crush. That's a good question. Um, my celebrity crush. I'd say going back to my childhood. Um, I was a big fan of Harry Potter growing up. So I would say um, Hermione Granger um, will be my celebrity crush. Um <laughs> Sorry, I I went blank. I forgot the actors. Emma 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 Watson. Emma Watson, I should say. Emma Watson. Yes, my biggest celebrity crush. You know, um, I used to have a crush on her as a kid. So yeah, <laughs> if that answers that one. Um, okay, is heaven real? Um, look, I can't confirm or deny. You know, that's a question. That's. That's a question that's open for everyone, I guess, whether you, you're religious or not. Um, I, I'm actually Christian, so um, I believe in God, yes. So in my personal belief, I do believe there's a heaven, absolutely. Um, but everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Um, my personal opinion, I believe heaven's real, but, you know, I, I can't really confirm what... I can't really confirm or deny in general, like, at the end of the day, people have their own beliefs, and I respect everyone's opinion. So, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, next question. What time do you go to bed? What time do I go to bed? I go to bed pretty early, actually. Like, um, like my usual bedtime would be around 10.30. Even on the weekend, like... I'd go to bed like before 12. I just like, I'm the type of person that values sleep. I value my sleep, you know, because if I don't get enough sleep, I feel shitty the next day. So, um, yeah, sleep is very important to me. So, yeah, I do. I, I, I always try. So, I always usually go to bed before 12. So, yeah, so I can get enough hours. Like, they say if you get at least six hours of sleep every night, you feel you feel good, and it's and it's healthy as well. It's it's good for your it's good, it's good for you to get sleep because lack of sleep, you know, can cause a lot of issues, health issues as well. So, if you if we can all get at least six hours of sleep each night, it's so important um, for us. And it, it's it's like when you charge your phone, you know. The next morning, your phone is a hundred percent, and that's like sleep with our bodies. We need, we need at least six hours of sleep to feel um, refreshed and recharged the next morning. So that's why sleep is so important. Lack of sleep can cause headaches, can cause stress, can cause, um, can you, you can feel sick, can cause 
you know, it can cause a lot of bad things. So yeah, sleep's very important. And I'm um, not to ramble on too much, but yeah. <laughs> um, okay. My first kiss. My first ever kiss. I think my first ever kiss was when I was, I think I was 19 years old. Um, I went out with this girl, um, up for, we, like we, we, we ran out on a date and then the next time I caught up with her, <coughs> sorry, I got stuck with <coughs> sorry, I got something stuck on my throat, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, so I went out on a date with this chick, um, um, yeah, so I took her out on a date, um, we went, we went and had pancakes or something. Um, and then the following week I took her and her friends out clubbing. We went to this nightclub in, um, Castle Hill. Um, this was like nearly, nearly 10 years ago now or something like that. But yeah, I was 19 at the time. We went to this nightclub in Castle Hill, um, and we were all pretty drunk and we just ended up making out, um, on the dance floor. <laughs> so yeah. That was my first kiss. <laughs> um, la uh, but then, then later on, she hooked up with her best friend as well. So <laughs> I don't count. I don't think it counts as a proper kiss. But yeah, <laughs> I'll just say that's my first kiss. Um, um, but okay, so worst movie you've ever watched? Worst movie I've ever watched. You know what? I've got an answer to this one. The worst movie I've ever seen, like ever seen, was one of the recent movies. Um, uh, it was this, what, what was that? Bloody. See, I hate when I have these brain, brain snap moments, especially like doing a podcast. Um, so the worst movie I've seen was. Um, uh, fuck. Um, Sorry, I've gone blank. I've gone blank, guys. But I'll name another bad movie that I have seen. Um, so, worst movie I've ever seen. Probably a movie that I thought would be great, but didn't turn out so good. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know. I've got to pick one, hey. I've seen a lot of great movies, that's my issue. I haven't seen too many bad ones. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think that probably the worst movie I've seen was the remake of Lion King, when it was an animation series. Probably that was the worst movie I've seen um, as well. Um, I don't know, just what I'm thinking about. There was another movie I wanted to tell you that was terrible. It was a remake or it was Scream 4 or something like that. You know, the guy that has the mask. Um, yeah, I don't know. The, I think it was the latest Scream movie or something like that. It was like one of those movies. It was horrible to watch. But yeah, guys, I think that answers all of my questions. Oh, actually, I have one more question. Um, have you ever had a girlfriend? Um, yeah, well, I've been in a short-term relationship for like a few months, so I wouldn't necessarily classify it as being in a real relationship. I mean, it was still, tech I say, technically a relationship, but we weren't together for that long. Um, this was probably about four years ago. She was my first girlfriend. Um, but yeah, well, I, I, I've been, like, I wouldn't say I've been in a real proper relationship but like i haven't had a proper girlfriend if that makes sense so yeah that answers all that guys um but yeah no appreciate your questions guys um thank you for sending them in um just to let you know that um this po today's podcast will also be on youtube as well as spotify anchor and all these podcast apps um wanted to let you know that yeah I i'm also doing youtube now um, as well, so every episode I upload as a podcast will also be seen on YouTube. 
just click on why is the word this down and you can go straight to it. Uh, but yeah, guys, next week I'll be back at Renee's place and me and her will be doing a podcast together. We've actually got a great topic to talk about, so I'm excited to share it with you guys. But yeah, besides that, guys, thank you for listening. I hope, you know, I hope you've got to know a little bit more about myself now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, just always good having a chat, always good being back on the pod. And until next week, guys, take care.